Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss equations involving fractions. Now for this, there may be two cases in which case 1 is if the numerical coefficients of variables are fractions and case 2 if the variables are in the denominator. Now let us discuss in case 1 if the numerical coefficients of the variables are fractions. For solving these type of questions, step 1 is to remove the fractions by multiplying both sides of equations by the corresponding LCM of the numbers in the denominator. And in the second step, we will solve the resulting simultaneous linear equations by elimination or substitution method. Now let us discuss an example for this type. In this solve x by 3 plus y by 2 is equal to 6 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. Now in the first step we will remove the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCM of the numbers 3 and 2. So the LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. Now let us name this equation as 1 and this as 2. Now multiplying equation number 1 by 6 that is the LCM of 3 and 2 we get 6 into x by 3 plus 6 into y by 2 is equal to 6 into 6. Which implies, now here, 3 into 2 is 6, so it will be 2x plus 2 into 3 is 6, so it will be 3y is equal to 36. Now, let us name it as equation number 3. Now, from equation number 2 and equation number 3, we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 12 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 36. Now, we will solve these equations by elimination method. Now for this, first of all, we will add these two equations. And on adding these two equations, these terms will be cancelled with each other. And on adding these, it will be 4x is equal to 36 plus 12, which is 48. And this implies x is equal to 48 
48 by 4, which is equal to, now here, 4 into 12 is 48, so x is equal to 12. Now, this is the equation number 3. Now, putting x is equal to 12 in equation number 3, we get 2 into 12 plus 3y is equal to 36, which implies 24 plus 3y is equal to 36. Now this implies 3y is equal to 36 minus 24, which is equal to 12, which further implies y is equal to 12 by 3. Now 3 into 4 is 12, so y is equal to 4. Therefore, the solution is x is equal to 12, and y is equal to 4. Now let us discuss the case 2 if the variables are in the denominator. Now let us discuss case 2 with the help of an example. And in this we have to solve 7 by x plus 8 by y is equal to 2 and 2 by x plus 12 by y is equal to 20. Now let us name this equation as 1 and this equation as 2. Now here you can see that the variables are in the denominators. So our first step is let 1 by x is equal to u and 1 by y is equal to v. Now substituting these values in equation number 1 and 2. We get 7u plus 8v is equal to 2 and 2u plus 12v is equal to 20. Now let us name this as equation number 3 and this as equation number 4. Now we can solve these equations by using the elimination method. Now for this, we will multiply equation number 3 by 2 and equation number 4 by 7 as we are making the coefficients of u equal. So this implies 14u plus 16v is equal to 4 and 14u plus 84v is equal to 140. Now let us name it as equation number 5 and this as equation number 6. Now subtracting 6 from 5 we get 14u plus 16v minus 14u plus 84v the whole is equal to 4 minus 140. This implies 14u plus 16v minus 14u minus 84v is equal to minus 136. Now here, these terms are cancelled with each other and this implies 16v minus 84v is equal to minus 68v is equal to minus 136. And further, this implies v is equal to minus 136 by minus 68 so here minus will be cancelled with minus and 68 into 2 is 136 so this implies v is equal to 2 now this is the equation number 3 now putting v is equal to 2 in equation number 3, we get 7u plus 8 into 2 is equal to 2, which implies 7u plus 16 is equal to 2, which further gives 7u is equal to 2 minus 16, which is equal to 
minus 14 and this implies the u is equal to minus 14 by 7 which is equal to minus 2. Now we have taken 1 by x is equal to u and 1 by y is equal to v. Now 1 by x is equal to u so this implies 1 by x is equal to, now putting the value of u here, it will be minus 2, which further gives, on cross multiplying, x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Also, 1 by y is equal to v, and we have v is equal to 2. So putting this value here, this implies 1 by y is equal to 2, which further gives on cross multiplying, y is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, the solution is x is equal to minus 1 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 2. So in this session we have learned how to solve equations involving fractions. And this completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.